mayong adlaw sa tanan. I am Pastor Harley Jagbel, a former president of Escalante Toboso Calatrapa, San Carlos Don Salvador Benedicto Christian Youth Fellowship Union. My warmest greetings to everyone, to the officers, staff, counselors. Thank you for making this summer camp meaningful and fruitful. Your labor is not in vain. To the campers, I hope you will enjoy this live camp 2020 and keep your fire burning. God bless everyone. To God be all the glory. Thank you. Hi, good evening. This is Pastor Gilmar Lanada, a senior pastor of Legacy of Faith Baptist Church here in General Santos City together with ETCSD CYFU also known as Escalante, Tuboso, Calatrava, San Carlos, and Don Salvador Benedicto Christian Youth Fellowship Union welcome you to our first online live camp. Kag ginashout out gid ang aton nga mga ETCSD officers Kag sa aton niya ETCSD advisor nga si Pastor Noy Merasol and also sa aton niya ETCSD president nga si Sir Rafael Baynosa kag sa aton nga mga kapasturan si Pastor John V, Pastor Harley, Pastor Mapmak, Pastor Rene, Pastor Bustillo and Pastor Leo kag sa tanan-tanan nga mga kapasturan dira kina shout out kamo and also sa aton nga mga circuit sa circuit ECBCI, circuit Isaiah, circuit Paul, circuit King Solomon, circuit Abraham and circuit Daniel. Hello, it is Ace Day family, and this is Jason M. Canilias from the Circuit Abraham. Uh, we're going to sing a song together with our pastor, Noy Mirasol. Kantaho na mo ang Warrior is a Child. Okay. <laughs> Cry 
fuite soi Que se te pensai de Deep inside this armor Deep inside this armor Deep inside this armor The warrior is a child It's a great day to worship God and to listen to His words. Our scripture text is found in John 14, 1 to 2. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. The title of the message of God in this morning is, Where? will you spend your eternity that is certain and uncertain we know we will die but we don't know when we will die kabalo kita nga mapatay kita pero wala kita kabalo kung saan o kita mapatay do you know google you know whatever you ask in google Google always have an answer. Like for example, how to find a lost phone. How to make a shop out. What is the process of making a diamond? Google will always give you an accurate answer. But try to ask Google, when will I die? Google will not give you an accurate answer because nobody knows when you will die except God in human history wala pasang tao nga wala na patay even Jesus died but then he resurrected that's a different story but all of us will die even if you will take a very expensive medicine, even if you will go to the best and high-tech hospital, even if you have the best and expert doctors, even if you are the most powerful man in this world, you will certainly die. There's no exception. You cannot escape death. There is no cure in death. Wala pasang na discovery nga tambal para sa kamatayon. According to study, in every second, two people die. So in every minute, 120 people die. Each hour, 7,200 people die. Each day, 17,800 people die. Each year, 63,072,000 people die. So in 63 million plus people who die every year, why are you still alive? Nga wala ka na dala sa 63 million plus na tao nga napatay. Nga ang nakabangon ka pa sa imong higdaan kag nakapamati sa pulong sang Ginoo. Nga nga nagaginhawa ka subong. We do have a virus right now and it killed millions of people. The death rate increased rapidly. 
nga awala ka pa na dala sa nagkalapatay sa virus. Nga ah, wala ka pa ging kuha sa ginoo. Do you know why? Because God is still giving you a chance to have faith in Him, to serve Him, and to surrender your life to Him. Do you know why God heals you? Do you know why God saves you from many accidents? Do you know why you are still alive? Because God is still giving you a chance. Tanawa ba lamang mga utod ang mga tuntong ng mga tao tugay mapatay? Pero atong mga mabuot ng mga tao kakauna pa sila ya patay? Ding istorya ni Narding ang ginuo pag ginambal niya. Ginuo! Nga asa kadamo nga tao nga ging kuha ni mo. Nga ging kuha mo si Chay Bibang. Nga si Chay Bibang amo to ang pinakamabuot nga tao diri sa barangay mabinuligon pa. Nga awala mo ding kuha si Chay Muring. Si Chay Muring pirti ka ng beruan nga tunto diri sa amo nga barangay kag pirti pa ka chismuso. Do you know why nga mga tunto nga mga tao dugay mapatay? Because God is still giving them a chance. Some fear death. And the number one reason why they are afraid to die is because they don't know where they will spend their eternity. In heaven or in hell. And how will you spend your life here on earth will determine on where you will spend your eternity. Luke 12, 16 to 19. There is a rich man who had everything he needs in this world, and he is having a good life. But how did he spend his life here on earth? He spent his life luxuriously and covetously. Luke 12, 16 to 17, Then he spoke a parable to them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man yielded plentiful. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, since I have no room to store my crops? He said, Business is booming. Nagatamo ng ako na kwarta. I don't even have a room to store my crops. So he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there I will store all my crops and my goods. Here we can see his real goal in life. And here we can see on how he will spend his life here in earth. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. That's the doctrine of the ancient atheist. And sometimes, among man ang doktrina sa atun ng kabuhi. Isn't that all we wanted? Isn't that our goal in life? Nga magubra ka sang tudo-tudo, magpadamo ka sang kwarta, kag magpatawhay, magkaon, maginom, kag mag Kalipay. The rich fool live a covetous life. What does it mean when you say covetous? It means inordinately desirous of wealth. In short, he is greedy. He is selfish. His goal, his desire, and his concern is on his wealth and on how he will enjoy his life. If we will go deep in the heart of this rich fool, my barns, my crops, my goods, my soul, everything is about him and nothing is God. God is out of the picture in his life. Wala iya ang ginuo sa iya ng kabuhi. In the end, it was proved that nothing was his. Ang tanan-tanan niya nga na-accomplish sa sininga kalibutan, abi niya mga utod, iya to. Pero, hindi. Iya to gali ka ginuo. Even his body, his soul, was subject to God. He didn't have any barns, any crops, any goods, 
and his body, his soul, was dead. Verse 20, But God said to him, You fool! This very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? Everything that we have accomplished here in earth, hindi ina atun, iya ina aginuko. And the reality is, when you will die, you won't get anything. Hindi mo ina madala sa langit, hindi mo muna madala sa impirno. Job said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked I will depart. Verse 21, This is how it will be with whoever store up things for themselves but is not rich toward God. The message of this parable reminds us that we should not just focus on the things on this world but we should also focus on God. God must be our priority. I have this charger cord and let me use this as an illustration. The white part of this cord represents our life in earth. And if you will look at it, Mahoto, our life in earth is very short. And that's the reality. Life is short. And in the end of this white part, mga utod, may arat na black part. And this black part represent our eternity. And can you, you, you just imagine, mga utod, nga ang ini nga part, wala ini katapusan. Because it is eternity. Now the problem is, we focus on this white part, which represents our life here on earth. And we are not focus on the eternity. We work hard 24-7. Wala lang kita nagapaning kamot, nagapaning tiin lang kita, and we wanted to earn a lot of money, and when we have money, we buy lands, we buy house, we buy cars, and we enjoy life. Some people, their mindset is, I just want to be happy for the rest of my life. And God is out of the picture. Wala ya ang Diyos sa ilang kabuhi. Let me be clear, mga otod. God is not a killjoy. God wants you to be happy. God wants you to have a good life. What God doesn't want is nga malimtan mo siya. May bahay, may kotse, may pera, may asawa, may anak, may damit, may pagkain, kilala, may pangalan. Pero nakalimutan ng Diyos. Having a lot of money is not a sin. Kung naghimakas ka dira sa pag-ubra para magdamo ang imo nga kwarta, kag maiprovide ka sa imo nga family, hindi ina sala mang utod. Ang sala mang utod kung mas palangga mo pa ang kwarta kaysa sa Ginoo. Money is not the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. If you love money more than God, then you have sin. Because when life is good, we tend to forget God. Hindi na tayo magsimba. Hindi na tayo magservisyo sa ginuo. Hindi tayo kinanlan ang ginuo. Ara naman sa ato ng tanan. Ang pagsimba, yung usik lang na sa oras. Hindi tayo kinanlan ang magsimba. Hindi kinanlan tayo mga lipay. And when they reach this point, their life on earth will come to an end. And here comes eternity. Remember, how will you spend your life here on earth will determine on where you will spend your eternity. And people who spend their life in worldly pleasure and sin will spend their eternity in hell. But those people who spend their life on God while they are in this world will spend their life in eternity in heaven. John 14, 1 and 2 Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God? 
believe also in me, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Jesus prepared a place for those who believe in God and believe in Him. When you believe in God, you must have faith in God. When you have faith in God, you have a relationship with God. If you have a relationship with God, you spend time with God. And when you spend time with God, while you are in this world, you will spend your eternity with God in heaven. John 14, 3 to 4, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. You know the way that leads to the place where I am going. The way that leads to heaven. Where is the way that leads to heaven? In verse 5, Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him in verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yes, Maotod. Jesus is the only way that we can go to heaven. Ephesians 2.8 For it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God. For it is by grace you have been saved. Tungod sa grasya. Ano ini ang grasya, Pastor? Grace is when your father and you have a quarrel. Nag-away ka mo sa imong papa nga do lapit na lang kamo magtapungulay. But on the next day, nakibot ka mang utod sa pagbugtaw mo, may ginhatag si papa nimo nga bag-o nga cellphone. And you would ask yourself, nga ata ganya pa ko ni sang cellphone. Nga nag-away na ko sa iya, nagpasaway ko sa iya, lapit ko na sa masumbagan. That is grace. Even if you are not worthy nga iyatagan sang cellphone kay tungod pasaway ka nga bata, pero ginatagan ka Japon sang imo nga papa sang cellphone. Even if we are not worthy to be saved by God, God still save us. That is grace, undeserved favor. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And yes, mga otod, only our faith in Jesus can save us. It is not true religion that can save us. It is not even our good works. Ang baladira, this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Mga utod, you will spend your eternity in heaven if you will spend time with Jesus while you are in this world. Mga utod, I'm going to ask you a question. Where will you spend your eternity? In heaven or in hell. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you sa sininga adlaw ng ginhatag mo for reminding us that in this world, Ginoo, we are just temporary. Hindi kami diri madugay, Ginoo. Life is short. That's why Amay, help us to remain focused on you, Lord God. Nga hindi lang kami ginoo mag-focus on the temporary things here in this world. But we should focus on eternity. Father, I pray na ikaw gid ang Diyos nga maghahatag sa amon sa langit nun nga kaalam sa sininga aga nga ma-apply gina namon sa amon nga kabuhi. I pray, Lord God, that you will bless the people nga nagatanaw subong sininga video. I pray, Lord God, nga ikaw gid ang mag-provide sa ilang nga mga kinanglanon. And whatever trials, burdens that they are facing right now, Father, I pray nga buligan mo sila. Lord, we entrust everything 
to you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
That's our representation, my brothers and sisters. So, tane ang katong a short presentation namo nakhatag niyo og learnings, encouragement. Yeah, kay as we see sa ato ang a situation karon na tas sa quarantine period, and then tane dilita ato ang a mental, emotional nga dilit maapektuhan. Affected yun pero at least na we are here. We review. Press on tanaw gina agian. Oh, those are just small advices, no? Pero may great impact if atong apply. So hopefully, inya sa jang ma ma apply po. So muna siya. Oh, tani. Ah, we hope and we pray nga ang ato ang commitment 
ni God um, magpa ano magpabilin tani yes. then we have to be strong so yes. we mga... look within us and we try to 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 learn what really is inside us kana let's know our true intentions or pure commitment and service individually because especially right now na tong friends dili na to pero may makit an mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. ang pagdangop na to sa Gino is individual so diri siya ma test marag test po siya sa ato ang commitment of service sa Gino also through quiet times through prayer times na to ang mga buhat na siya and then ma- read ano the bible, bible. Yes. so thanks for watching <laughs> thank you thank so you much. so much <laughs> That's it. Bye. Bye bye. Love you. CSD family um, gusto ko lang sana ang ibahagi sa inyo ang love story namin ni Maribel from Wibisan at taga muna ang lakas ng hangin <laughs> sa kinang chan ko at gusto ko sanang ipapakita sa inyo ang konting presentasyon ko kung paano kami nagkakilala <laughs> At um, nagkakilala kami ni Maribel sa camp At um, mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo kung gano'n ko siya kamahal wow! At of course, mas mahal ko ang Diyos Pero sana magustuhan nyo. Ito na nga yung... Ah, ito pala yung birthday niya. Ah, dito ako maten. Hindi ko akalay na... Ang ganda niya. At hindi ko rin inasahan na... Ako ang hahawak sa birthday cake niya. <laughs> Sinabi ko talaga kay Pastor Bem Bem Ayan Na ako maghahawak sa birthday cake niya Para Mas Alam niyo na Mas pogi Pogi points alam. Uh, Ito na <clears throat> Ito na yung Inaantay ko na makagrade sa kanya uh, Umiyak talaga siya Hindi niya inakala na time na yun ay nagustuhan ko na siya at ito na nga kinasal na kami <laughs> sobrang ganda niya guys ayan, kita niya naman ang ganda niya talaga ang guwapo ko din he lets so what's up guys papunta kami sa Bunny Bridal dahil mahal na mahal ko siya alright 
Lucky Lads.